Ryan, you guys are proud owners of this Haas UMC 750 machining centre. In fact, I believe you were the second or the third company in the country to buy one, is that correct? Yeah, I believe so, Paul. Uh, we purchased this back at the beginning of 2015. And I th I'd like to ask you, because we talked to a lot of companies that are just about to buy them or have just bought them, but you've now got the experience of how the machine has performed over the last two years, which is probably more important than anything. So tell us exactly that. How has it performed for you? Uh, the UMC, it's been brilliant for us, to be honest. We work down to doing uh, simple three axis work, which we can, down to full five axis simultaneous. So it's been a great investment for us. Because I think when a machine tool provider first embarks on a, a new machine, often people are a bit reticent to invest in them at the start. But now we're two years in and you've had two years experience. You could give nothing but a glowing reference for how the machines perform them. Yeah, completely. We're very happy with it. Now, what's your split between doing three plus two and full five axis simultaneous machine? Well, the majority of our work is three plus two. I'd say down to sort of 10% uh, full simultaneous. And when you're doing that full simultaneous, then how do you program it? You, you, you can't be doing that at the control. No, we have an offline CAD system, uh, one CNC, which has been pretty good for us. Now, you've got other machines in the machine shop. This is a full five axis machine. How has this added value to what you're making and what you're manufacturing? Has it reduced operations? Has it made parts more accurately or more fa or faster? Some, some of the benefits? Um, completely what you say, it's a lot more accurate. We can uh, split operations down now, so we can do uh, full operations uh, using uh, just two ops, where before this could take us down to six, seven operations. And in your search for a five axis machine, you went to the market, you had a look at several manufacturers. I look at this machine and some of the things that we, we've pointed out in the past is the fact that the X and the Y axis are moving on the column. Your table's very rigid there, isn't it, in a, in a fixed position. And is it your B and your C axis are operating just from there? Did, did you see those features as advantageous to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great design of the machine. What I really like about the machine myself the big opening, if you're working with a big workpiece, you've got access to get in there. You can come in, you can measure features. That There's a lot of room. And what about things like neg achieving negative angles and going beyond your zeros? Can, can you do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, completely. So as uh, we've got uh, 90 degrees uh, rotation in the B one way and uh, minus 35 in the other direction. And also tell me about this work shift uh, feature in the control if you were to move apart from one part of the table from one place on the table to another the control can quickly find out where the component is is that correct yeah so with the dynamic work shift option you would uh, program your job normally as three plus two now you could put that part in use your touch trigger probe set the work shift and the has control will convert everything so one program would satisfy all they wouldn't be spending time trying to find rotational center points etc speed of the machine how fast is it what are you running at uh, we've got 12,000 RPM on that, so uh, yeah, very quick speed on the spindle. Through spindle coolant? Through spindle coolant. And when, you, when you're moving at high speeds, you need to m remove the swarf. Again, looking at this machine, it looks like they've paid attention to laying it out so that the, the swarf evacuates easily. Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, full swarf conveyor, the swarf goes down. So yeah, we've had no problem with that. And just tell me about your relationship with Haas. I know this machine here was part of a four machine purchase. How, how have you found the experience of, of dealing with them over the last two years? Yeah, Haas have been very good. Uh, I mean, the thing that we like about them, their dedication to service, etc. If there's a problem with the machine, not that we've had any yet, but they assure me that they'll be here within the next 24 hours. Support, if there's any questions that we were unsure of the machines, uh, it's always been a phone call away. So yeah, so far it's been very good. Great, that, that door's quite good as well. And the fact you can see, yeah. it's a huge window, you can see what's happening in the machine. And the fact that you've got plenty of open space at the top for loading bigger parts if you need it. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, it's great for when you're proving a job out, you've got a, a, a large window to view in, see exactly where your tools are going, you can watch in, you've got real good detail to setting up work. And, and part of setting up is probing. Did that come as standard? Yeah, that come as standard on the machine. Um, yeah, it's great for probing. Obviously, when you're doing five axis simultaneous, it's uh, very critical 
that the part, the probes and all the tools are got very good geometry. And if I was to ask you one last final question about what you're making on here, what, can, what have you been holding when it comes to tolerances on this machine? Microns? Yeah, I mean, some of the work we do, we're down to plus or minus seven microns and repeatability, again, has been great with the machine. And you, would you say that that's the case? Because you, you do do a range of materials as well, don't you? You're not just machining aluminium like we've got here. You're, you're doing some, some more difficult parts too. Yeah, I mean, we do titaniums, uh, treated steels, uh, plastics, everything on this machine. Good stuff. So was the right choice for you guys? Yeah, exactly that. So far, so good.